lessons in one household. So um, right now I can't um, record on my computer, like directly on my computer. Like use Bandicam right now because whenever I use Bandicam, it um, shuts down. Yeah. Well, what you want to put? Well, I will give the link in the description below. Um, so you don't need to look right now. I'm gonna just put the link in the description later. All right. So the link will give you. Uh, will take you to this page right here. So what you want to do is follow my mouse. Go down to um for that where is it master controller go to master controller and then you need to go down to your patch level and your base mod you don't want like nothing else you just want base mod all right click that and then what you want to do you want to scroll down and then you might want to read that right here is always ensure that you back up your save files prior to installation of this mod. The mod has the capability to really mess up your town if you use them properly. So keep in mind that if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. So um, you might want to take this mod to careful, and then you want to go into download. Make sure you have a mods folder. And if you don't, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to my mods folder tutorial. And yeah, so you want to go download and then you want to put this put it up and then so there's a package right here so once you download it you want to go to um, where your mods folder is documents electronic arts sims 3 and mods and then packages and you want to put it in here I already have it here right there All right exit it out all right, now that's just one mod you need. All right, listen carefully. You need a different mod to do this too, and it's called Portrait Panel. Panel. What it does is it displays people's traits when you hover over their um, um, face in the corner in the left or something. Alright, you want to go to patch level, and you want to go to base mod, only base mod, and then you want to go down, and then warning, now, as always, ensure that you back up your save files prior to installation of this mod, as Murphy said, if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. Alright, you want to download, click download, and then go to your zip, and then go, Go open up another file. Go open up your um, documents. Electronic Arts. The Sims 3. Mods. And then you want to extract, extract it to the packages. Alright, so we have this. And then just drag it and then put it in packages. Alright, copy. Alright, so yeah, and that's all. And enjoy your 8 Sims, more than 8 Sims. And bye!